How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. Woo! So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. Previously on Adventures of Nikki and Camper, Hotel Prius works its way through Michigan, having a blast all along the way. We go dune bashing, take on the Finnish tradition of a steamy hot sauna followed by an ice cold plunge. That makes you feel alive visit some local farms, and even go strawberry picking, explore the beaches of the Great Lakes, find some waterfalls, go hunting for the recently discovered out-of-this-planet glow-in-the-dark lights, and so much more. Leaving off our adventures continuing west along Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Good morning, camper. Oh wow, our neighbors are so close to us. <laughs> Hi. You wanna go outside? Okay, go ahead. This keeps happening in all the campgrounds I'm going to in Michigan. This has never happened before where they close the bathrooms at 8.30, 9 a.m. I'm so confused, Michigan. Why are you doing this? Okay, guess we'll figure it out on our own. And by figure it out, I mean wait. This thing is the best. Oh, man overboard, man overboard. Half decaf, half regular. Okay, you got this. very confident in this port. Okay. I don't recommend pouring from coffee cups like this. I do love this coffee cup though. You got this coffee. I mean that looks so pretty. We're gonna have to rinse that off. is the most important part. Can not mess this up. Oh my god. You know, even at busy campgrounds like these, where your neighbor is literally on top of you, you can still find some relaxation. It's so quiet and still over here. All right, let's go see if those restrooms are open. We have a fun-filled day all around Marquette, Michigan. Alright, we're 
gonna try this again. This is how we transport the poop bags. All right, now that we've had some coffee and we're freshened up, it is time to get the blood pumping. We are going to go check out Marquette's famous Sugarloaf Mountain. It's a half a mile hike up to the top with amazing views and you cannot miss it if you're coming to town. This trail is so beautiful. There's a ton of greenery, boulders. <sighs> Feels so good. Hi. We're getting there. You got it. Wow. Look at that. It is a busy day at Sugarloaf Mountain, but the views are amazing. All right, way back now. Go ahead, up. <sighs> All right, now that we've worked up quite the appetite, we are gonna go to my favorite grocery store in Marquette to do some grocery shopping and get some breakfast. Uh, yes, I forgot utensils, and yes, I'm aware of how weird it is to have sushi for breakfast. Mm. All right, now we are off to Presque Isle State Park. People come from all over to hang out on the beaches at this state park, but especially this one area where you can sunbathe on the rocks, swim in the clear water, or go cliff jumping if you dare. All right, first things first, we're going straight in. Let's do this. This is how you get used to the cold. And that is why people come from far and wide to Black Rocks at Marquette. I could hang out here all day. I've always had an irrational fear of cliff jumping, so I am feeling so powerful. <sighs> that was amazing. While we're on the way out, just a little swimmer's tip. 
every single day the road to this area gets closed at certain hours. So a good time to come is when the road is closed and take the half a mile walk. I highly recommend doing that. We pretty much have that place to ourselves compared to what it usually is. Perfect timing. They just opened the street to the cliff jumping area. All the cars are starting to show up. While I was at the cliffs, three different locals told me I had to try Laurie's for some local Marquette Eats. Apparently they have some food that is not only famous to the Upper Peninsula, but absolutely delicious. So that's our next stop. back home to eat some pasty. Alrighty then. Dope. First thing I'm gonna do here is set up my moon shade so we have some shade above our picnic bench. So excited to try these. <laughs> Camper, get your butt out of here. One, two, three. Gosh, we have so much food, but we are starting with the classic pasty. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Camper, you wanna try this? Still gotta save room for the other stuff. Oh my goodness. The classic pasty definitely passed the taste test. Now we gotta try the vegetarian. In case you guys didn't know, I'm like 80, 90% vegetarian. Uh, when it's part of a local dish like this, that's a classic, I will have meat in my diet. All right, vegetarian. Mmm. That tastes like, like a pea and carrot soup wrapped up in a pastry bread. Very good. You wanna try it, Camp? Take a bite. Nope, he doesn't want the veggie. All right, and last, but certainly not least, we are gonna try the kudagi. This is a sausage with pizza sauce and cheese all wrapped up in a bun. And I've been told this is also exclusive to the Upper Peninsula. This is like a pizza on bread with sausage. Tastes like a sausage pizza on bread. All right. Uh, and the last little bit here, and maybe you can help us crack the case. There is the ages long debate that has been dividing families since the beginning of time. Do you have your pasty with ketchup or gravy? Or are you like me and neither? Let us know in the comments. Two bites of each and I'm stuffed. We're gonna have to save those for later. In the meantime, we're just gonna chill out, get some work done. Oh, and I have something awesome to show you guys. Uh, I'm so excited about this, because if you've been following along, you have seen the struggles of going to hotels, trying to use their Wi-Fi, McDonald's, public networks. Uh, when you're full-time on the road, Wi-Fi can be very unreliable. But for the past couple weeks, I have been using Starlink and I'm not sponsored. I can honestly say, this is game changing for the full time nomad community or just in general being off grid. It is incredibly fast. The only thing is you can't have tree cover. So I actually picked this spot because it's in an open field, but highly recommended. Although I'm going to miss those days of sitting outside of McDonald's for 18 hours uploading a video. Sayonara. <laughs> Yeah. 
But then I got this one. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is 8 p.m. and we still have a couple hours left of daylight. So we're gonna go on a little bike ride. One of my favorite things in this area are the bike paths. They go all over town, through the forest, along the shoreline. And the other favorite thing of mine is a tired dog. So we're gonna do that before we shower off and get to bed. Yeah, all those sticks were for you. They definitely were not for making a fire. So don't worry, all yours, man. <laughs> you're lucky you're so damn cute. I am so ready for a shower. Whew. Time. What a long day. I don't think we can wait for the sun to go down to go to sleep. That's like another hour. Yes, I'm a grandma, but it's also 10 o'clock. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. We took a few bites of each and I don't think we can handle anymore. Uh, speak for yourself, lady. Okay. Yeah, you're like a bottomless pit. I don't know how you do it. You want some more? Yeah, go. Good boy.